National Senior Games are for those ages 50 and over. A returning athlete from Hoover says she and her twin sister cannot wait to come back to the games when they're held again in 2029 right here in Birmingham. She and her sister first competed out at the Crossplex back in 2017. Good news is we can do it. And she said, bad news. I said, bad news is we have to qualify in two weeks and we haven't been in the water in 30 years. Melissa White says the decision to participate in the 2017 National Senior Games came about after she stumbled across a post on Facebook about the event. She managed to talk her twin, Melanie, into qualifying for the swimming events. Both women who went on to swim in 2017 walked away with gold medals at the age of 50. It is never too late to get started. Um, health and wellness is really the whole philosophy behind the senior games and fellowship with other athletes. After taking part in the 2017 National Senior Games in Birmingham, Melissa says she and her sister were hooked. They traveled to Albuquerque, Fort Lauderdale, and Pittsburgh to compete. Now she's excited about the opportunity to compete at home again. I think sometimes when we live here, we forget how special it is, but having gone to other places and having a wonderful time and learning so much about their communities, it's a really good feeling to come back home. On Tuesday, the Greater Birmingham Convention and Visitors Bureau announced the Magic City had been selected to host the 2029 National Senior Games. Seniors from all over the country will compete in more than 25 sporting events over two weeks. John Oros, president and CEO of the Greater Birmingham Convention and Visitors Bureau, explains why landing the event is so important. That two-week period that we had them here it was the longest sustained period of high hotel occupancy for all of our hotels throughout the, throughout the, uh, the county. But also, it means a lot for our restaurants, our retailers, all of our businesses that are related to the tourism industry. In 2017, the Convention and Visitors Bureau says the event attracted more than 10,000 participants to the greater Birmingham area, and the event itself generated $38 million in economic impact in Jefferson County. Reporting live in Birmingham, I'm Amy Heibel, CBS 42 News.